I'm chilling in my new house, as you can see, with my new background and everything. And yeah, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Shrink a Doodle art kit. So I got this for like either 99 cents or a dollar 99 at the 99 cent store. And I remember doing this when I was like younger and everything. Um, so it's by Rose Art, and there's over 50 designs. It says adult supervision is required, but I am my own adult, so we're good. <laughs> But, so yeah, it shrinks like magic, and usually you make, like, jewelry or something out of it, but the thing is, they don't give you, um, any, like, uh, like, necklaces or bracelets to put the jewelry on. It just includes six shrink or doodle sheets, a design sheet, color pencils, and instructions. So, it's pretty simple, but let's open this up. I'll get some scissors over here. So, I hope this is fun for you guys because I bought this like months ago to do a video on it and I um, haven't yet because, you know, moving and everything. So, yeah, it's really simple. It doesn't need to be that big of a box for this. So, here we have our six colored pencils. I'm going to go get mine because I probably want more than six colors. It's not even all the colors of the rainbow like okay oh so because I moved I can't find where I have my colored pencils so we're just gonna have to work with these six color pencils which is kind of upsetting but I guess we'll do it so we have a green orange pink yellow black and red so missing a purple missing a brown missing a white I know it's white but this is white but still so there's the little sheets. There's more than s wait. There's eight and it says there's six. I'm not complaining, but I got eight instead of six, like it says on that. See, it says it has six little sheets, and there's eight. I swear I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I made it through high school and one semester of college, so I think I can count, <laughs> maybe. So, basically, we just do whatever, and it shrinks a lot, so, yeah, so it gives us these designs. So we have, of course, the alphabet, and we have some animals right here, which is cute, cars, and then some butterflies, and we have some marine life, some sweet treats, and some bugs. This one's really cute, I'll probably, the only stencil I think I'm going to use is either flower or, um, butterfly otherwise I'm just gonna like make it up as I go you know what I mean so I'm going to cut the butterfly out or at least the butterfly like square out because I don't need this giant paper it would be hard to try to trace this giant paper okay like we don't need any of these we can recycle that. We just need the flowers and the bugs. Oh, so, here we have that. This basically just says, um, okay, the rough side is on top. Let me place this over the design, so. I think I'm actually going to do this groovy looking flower here first. So it's supposed to shrink into probably like that big of a corner, if you know what I mean. So it's going to be a lot smaller. Let's get started. that 
that. It looks like the tracing, there's like a little bit white spot, so I'm going to fill that in. And then I guess just cut it out and then color some more and then you can shrink them. Well, I did that and basically you can do really any design. I just wanted to do one of the tracing ones because um, I thought it would be cool. And then it's really simple, but you can, you know, spice it up however you want to. But yeah, so I'm just going to do another one. Maximum space, I'm going to put two on each sheet so this butterfly matches, or not matches, but fits perfectly right here. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> up a little bit right there but that's fine this is what it looks like right now i tried to do like maybe some purple because there wasn't but but yeah so i'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and then move on to some other ones and this one i decided to outline um i didn't outline the flower i want to see how it looks differently with outline and without it so there it is so now we're just gonna put that aside i'm just gonna do my own and you guys will see which ones i do black widow like symbol and then I'm I don't know what I'm gonna see you guys will see what's next <laughs> just be white in the middle and that's what I want so yeah so there's that this is how much we have so far I'm gonna do I think two more let's figure out what those two things would be though I would do the rainbow flag but we don't have all the colors and I can't find my other one so I'll do that I guess whenever I find my other color pencils but so yeah I can't even do the lesbian flag because the lesbian flag is pink and pink and pink and pink and we don't even have pink, so they're homophobic. I'm just kidding, but lol. <laughs> I'm going to make this like a pendant because I can probably find something to put the charm on. Um, I'm going to find the instructions so I can see if there's anything specific about that. It says create a hole using a punch, a hole punch if you want to make a keychain or item. You can hang, hole punch not included. So I guess I have to find a hole punch, but that's really... Setting because, because yeah, so I have to find a hole punch now. Of course, I don't have a hole puncher because, like I said, I moved in and my parents are in here and I have no idea where it would be and I don't want to bother them asking or texting them. So, whatever, like I said, I'll just um, come back to this if it works. Put this back out to grab this. Looks like the first few three are the best. All the rest, you know. Clearly for kids, but all the rest is just really girly and stuff. But this one, I'm going to use a C because, of course, my name starts with C. So I guess I'll just do like a decorative C and then I don't know yet. Kind of looks like a Pac-Man, to be fair. better because it looks like crap but you can see there's flowers and thorns and stuff maybe I shouldn't have colored the background but I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit I'm deciding to just do this weird flower like geographic design thing and this other flower just so I think they would look nice in like my window or something kind of like stained glass I know they're not but you guys know what I mean, so I'm just going to time lapse that and then we can put these guys in the oven and see how they shrink.
Okay, so here it is. It's kind of cool and like geographical, and I think that's pretty cool. And then now all we have left is the very last one. depends on the size of how long it will take for them to um, like work. Organized here and I cut up all of these just because I don't know um, if later on I might use them or whatever and there's still six sheets. So it's supposed to come with, I mean, there's still five sheets. It's supposed to come with six sheets, like it says on the box. But like I said, it came with eight, which was nice. They are all completed and I did go over all of them, all the colors, just so they would be a little bit like more vibrant. Here's this cool flower, which I like the swirl pattern, um, the geometric flower shaped things, and the sea, which really looks weird, but hopefully that comes out cool. Then the groovy flower, which is pretty cool, they're both kind of cool looking. And then the butterfly. The Star Wars Rebel Alliance sign or symbol and the Black Widow symbol. This looks like that on my backpack, if you guys didn't know. Should cut them with a little bit um, remaining space around like border. So I'm gonna do that. And then by the time I finish that, hopefully it'll be done preheating. Okay, so here they are all cut up and it's honestly really difficult trying to cut them. But some of them have like this one has like a rip and stuff because sometimes when you're cutting and moving, it just rips the thing. This one is almost a casualty, but it's still connected as you can see. So hopefully that stays connected. And after I bake it, I will definitely glue it, but I don't want to glue it before. I don't want to bake super glue. That does not seem safe, but yeah. So I'm really excited to put these guys in. Wait, so like. What am I supposed to do with this? So it's supposed to be the colored side up, which is how they are right now anyways. So, I'm probably- oh no, it broke! That's okay, I'm still gonna put it in because I will glue it later. Um, anyways, I'm really excited for this one. This one clearly because I want to see how the dimensions come out when you just make them rather than the patterns. But this one also I'm really excited for just because of the colors. So let's put these in. So I'm supposed to just keep an eye out on them. But I can't even see anything happening through this. So that's kind of annoying. I guess I'm just going to have to keep opening it to see um, how it's doing, you know, but, yeah. I'm going to put this stuff away, and I can definitely use this later, maybe with my friends. It looks like they finished. They really definitely shrunk. Let's see, it's really small. But, yeah, well... Gonna let them cool off and then I'll show you guys them when I'm just done. Also, I have to glue that one. And they really did shrink a lot. Here is the resistance one. That one looks pretty cool. This is the C. You can't, oh, you see better on the other side um, the design of everything. That one's flowers. And here this is. Sucks so that you can see those cracks, but it's okay. 
This geometric one is pretty cool. This one looks super cool though. The colors look more blended when you look at it from the back versus the front. So this one I of course need to glue that on too. This would have been such a cool necklace if I had a stupid hole puncher. But yeah, that was that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see me more, do more of this, then let me know down below. Um, if I do, it would most likely be with my friends because I don't think I need to use six sheets of these. Um, I feel like I can just do more with my friends. We each get a sheet and then at that point I can make necklaces because hopefully by then I'll have a hole puncher and more colored pencils. But to be fair, the colored pencils we got in here did do pretty well. I mean, this one kind of looks purple. It blended pretty well considering that we only had blue and red for that. But, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, you know, what I said, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, comment down below your favorite one. I think my favorite one that came out was probably this one, or this one, because I think it just looks really cool with the purple that blended. So, yeah. Bye!